Well, from all the buzz from the entertainment world, we are now going to talk about something that's important for you to know for the sake of a healthy environment. How many electronic products do you own? Have you wondered what happens to these possessions once they reach the end of life? It's a fact that this e-waste is the darker side of today's digital age. So is there a better, more responsible way to handle our growing heaps of disposed electronic goods? Let's find out. India generates around 800,000 tons of electronic waste every year. Most of the waste given to scrap dealers ends up in underground recycling markets like this one in Selampur near Delhi. Where informal recyclers work without protective clothing and chemical residues contaminate water and soil. We realize that uh, end of life electronic products are not only waste but they are also really hazardous for the environment, right? And we found out that a lot of children and women are working in the sector to actually take out whatever material is possible and they dump the rest of it. Located in Roorkee, approximately 200 kilometers away from Delhi, Atero Recycling is India's largest end-to-end e-waste recycling company. It has developed a unique metal extraction technology which extracts pure precious and semi-precious metals out of e-waste. Electronic waste as a stream of business sounded very attractive because therein technology disruption could be possible and that technology disruption could lead to a sustainable business opportunity which has a sustainable impact on the entire society. Creating wealth from waste. Atero is set to clear the mess created by the digital revolution in not just India, but abroad. Watch this complete story on the power of Shunya this weekend, only on Times Now.